this is the answers from yesterday's 3D shape quiz. Hope you got them all right. Hi, welcome back to Mrs C's Maths Lessons. Hope you're well today. So, we did plotting, no we didn't, we did coordinates. Our first lesson on coordinates, this is lesson two on coordinates. Today, the learning intention, we are intending to learn plotting coordinates. So that's what you need to put on your maths book or on your piece of paper at the top, okay? Then, you need to copy this quadrant grid, okay? Quadrant because it's got four sections, it's got one, two, three, four, okay? Not a normal graph where it's just got two axes. Well, it has got two axes, but it's got four quadrants. So that's why it's called a quadrant grid, okay? So copy that and then come back to me. So you have created your quadrant graph. We're now going to label it. Can you remember what this axis was called? It had a long hanging down tail to remind you. You need to label it. It is the long hanging down tail, the Y axis. This horizontal one was the stubby one, the fat one that goes across. So it was the X axis, okay? Can you remember when you look at a coordinate like this, which value comes first? Is it the X or the Y? What do we have to remember? In through the hallway and up the stairs, yeah? So, do you remember which coordinate came first? These are your coordinates, always in brackets. And this first one here is in through the hallway and up the stairs. It is X first. X is always the first coordinate, and then Y is the second. So if we are going to plot A on our quadrant grid, we need to go to X, then Y. So we go in through the hallway to minus 3 on the X axis, and then Y is 2. So can you do that on yours and plot point A? Got it? Right, B, what comes first? X coordinate, in through the hallway, through the hallway, and then up the stairs, okay? So it's two is your X, and three is your Y. So we are at plus two, plus two on the X, and then three on the Y. So that is where B goes. Are you doing it? Are you doing it? Hopefully. Okay, right. And now it is C. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to do it. And hopefully you'll be able to do it too. And the last one is D. Well, these are both in minuses now. So they're in minus quadrants. Okay. So minus 4 on the X and minus 3 on the Y. X first. Minus 4 on the X and minus 3 on the Y. Okay, so we've not done 2D shape yet, but can you, using a ruler please and a pencil, because we always do math drawings in pencils and with rulers, can you join up these lines and let's see if we can recognize what 2d shape we have made now these two lines we talked about this during our 3d math lesson these two lines here are they're going to go on to the end of the universe and not meet so they are begins with a p they are parallel lines so two Parallel lines. Are these parallel as well between B and C? Off you go. See so if you can join them up. Use a ruler. Yeah, I think you can say that they are parallel lines as well. So two sets of parallel lines. Two angles the same and two angles the same. What 2D shape is it? 
Squash to square. Rhombus. Rhombus. It's a rhombus. So I'm just throwing in a little bit of 2D maths, 2D shape into this lesson. So this square, this is a rhombus, it's not a square, it's a squashed square. Okay, so there you go. You have plotted your first rhombus on a quadrant graph. So I'm just going to pause for a minute. I'm going to rub this out and I'm going to set you something else to do. See you in a minute. Okay, right, so we are ready to plot some more coordinates. I have set up question one and question two here. Okay, so you're going to be making two different shapes on the same quadrant graph, okay? So you could maybe do question one in one colour, coloured pencil, and question two in another colour. That's what I'm going to do. I'd like you to label each corner of the shape that you create, and I will share the answers with you at the start of tomorrow's lesson, which is going to be on translation, translation on a quadrant grid, okay? So if you like the channel, like and subscribe, and remember to turn on post notifications. See you tomorrow.